site and get an impromptu visit to Bernardo's. But as we're thinking, going up north and making it cheaper, bloody hell. It's also very, very windy. My only window test goes is to get some chocolate and some snacks for the Italy. And um, yeah, very, very expensive. So obviously, uh, I'm closer to sporting, but not quite close enough. So the the D and D or role playing dice that I picked up went on auction and sold for ten pound fifty. I took one dice out of there, which is worth around thirty pounds. Thought I'll just get rid of the rest because I really cannot be bothered to go through and do them individually because it looked like there was a few missing from each of the individual sets. Generally speaking, most of these sets were sold um, in in lots, and they would have been maybe seven or eight pounds. So yeah, they're gone. That's fine by me. So I made the executive decision. I was not going to be collecting the PSP Essentials. So we have sold Mega Man Maverick Hunter X on the PSP, the PSP Essentials version for $19.99, including free delivery. Bought it last week, I think. That sounds about right. Bought it last week for maybe a pound. So it's Tuesday morning. This is my stack. Uh, there's, I think it's two Hermes, which I think is the one of those down there. And I think that one's UPS. And then again, I think one of these is UPS and the other one's Royal Mail. But yeah, quite a few quid. And I woke up to four sales overnight as well, totaling to over a hundred pounds. So I'll do that when I get back from work. But yeah, stacks. So it is uh, eight o'clock Tuesday morning. Uh, I've got my mandatory coffee and I've also gone for a chocolate crisp as well because I'm absolutely starving as um, my daughter, uh, her new bedtime apparently is 9 p.m. So she had a danger nap on the way back from St. Neots, which um, it was not good. I should probably not eat on, on camera after. Uh, sorry. So yeah, danger nap on the way back for about an hour. She went to bed at nine o'clock, which was not planned. No, it might be 9.15 actually by the time she went down. So that gave me enough time to do the rest of my packing, shower and then bed. Um, so hopefully this is not the new normal because it just completely destroys our evenings. Although, although we won't be able to spend it together, we can just take it in turns like we do anyway. So we have an evening off every other evening, which isn't the end of the world. But uh, she actually slept through until 7.00 which was an absolute godsend. It might be more uh, later than that, actually, because she was just in her cot just playing with the teddies. So, could be the new normal. I hope it's not. But yeah, uh, I'm just glad she slept all the way through, to be honest with you. So, uh, I've been to, I've just done a spate of a load of charity shops, actually. Um, I went to, to one. There's a nice pair of uh, kids DMs. It wanted 15 pounds. If they were a tenner, you know what? I probably would have bought them but I don't want to haggle in a charity shop. So if they're still there in a week's time, maybe I'll, I'll ask if they'll take lower. There's a few board games in there, but they're all really expensive. So the, the sealed version of uh, a deal or no deal game, I, I sold that for 90 pounds. There's a pre-owned version, they want a tenner. It doesn't even look like it's complete. So it's just bloody annoying, frustrating. Uh, so we'll see if that's still there in a couple of weeks time I'd imagine it probably is uh, because I can't see anyone going to a charity shop and paying £10 for a board game pre-owned that's just me anyway and then one of my favourite ones where I know I don't know, I don't know I get on very well with one of the people that work there uh, and she always like she's always oh I've got some bits um, if, out the back that have come in that I've not put out yet she wasn't there, it was one of the other people. And they had a donation, and I had a sneaky look in the bag, like a little glance as I walked past. I saw a buzz and a woody. It looked to be in fairly good condition. Uh, I'm trying to estimate the age of them, but it's impossible. I didn't see any other toys, because the bags were quite chocker. So, trying to gauge of what could be in there. So I have to come back round tomorrow and and see if I can speak to the other person, see if they'll give me first dibs after they've quarantined everything. So yeah, off to the storage unit to, to pick up some bits that I've sold, um, as well as sort some bits out for, for my normal work as well. So nothing bought so far. 
and it's currently Tuesday, so uh, not going too well so far. Not that anyone asked, but I've gone for a Sainsbury's meal deal today. We've got chicken with, well, I'm trying to read this backwards, chicken with pork, sage and onion stuffing, accompanied by a strawberry vulvic water and prawn cocktail crisps. And for, for dessert, we have, for 50 pence, I think it was, Whisper Gold. A couple of Daleks just sold for 69.99. Free delivery going via the GSP. One Gengar card, £5.50, including free delivery. Owes me a couple of pence, if that. £49.99, including free delivery for the one Espion card, which I have listed. Uh, I've still got a few packs to open. Um, and I think I've now, I've got spares. I need to start relisting the ones that I've sold because I have multiples. This in reality owes me a couple of pounds. Yeah, maybe two or three or less. Either way, 50 quid. Thank you very much. I really can't be asked to move, and I know the picture quality is terrible. Will you shut up, computer? Um, I sold a Thor figure, that one there, for $24.99, including free delivery. $11.99, including free delivery for the Simpsons hit and run on a PS2 Platinum version. I only listed it a few days ago, four days ago maybe, and it sold already. Lovely jubbly. It's Wednesday morning, it's not the biggest pile. However, I think eBay should be paying me around 400 quid today. They gave me 50 pounds yesterday. Today should be a lot better of a day, which means I can go shopping. So I've got a few minutes to kill uh, before I start my first job. It's currently eight minutes to nine in the morning. Um, I've been playing Pokemon Snap on and off for the last two or three days. Admittedly, yeah, it's a very simple game and obviously very child orientated, but then trying to get the the maximum amount of points requires a little bit of thought and strategy. So, I mean, it's all right. It's it's a very nice to look at game. Um, I'm more interested in this open world one, which is potential, which will be coming out. Uh, I think that's what it's been missing is an, is an open world game. And I think that would just, it would go mad. I'm a bit confused as to why there's been no special editions. Um, with with Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, they did special edition switches, um, which they've not done this time, which I think a Pokemon Snap Switch would have sold. And you know what? I probably would have bought one, but they've not done that. They've not even done a steelbook or anything like, like nothing at all, which is very, very strange. Because to me, it's it must be very easy money for the Pokemon company, it must be. But um, they chose not to do it. So uh, where, where am I? I've, I'm on the first island. I've got maximum research on day, maximum research on night, level two on the boss, as it were. Um, then island three, you know what? I don't even know. Uh I think a good hour and a half chunk was on the drive to St. Neots where my daughter was asleep and I was a passenger so I was like yeah just back the switch on and just have a go have a bash so um, yeah it's it's alright I, I don't know obviously I'm very very early in the game still I was trying to I wanted to try and perfect as or get four stars out of four stars for as many things as possible and do it do it that way I think I'm kind of over that now, so I might just try and progress further in the story because uh, I would presume there, there must be repeats of the same Pokemon and it must be easier to get different stars. So I think I've got five fully complete at the moment, which is okay. Uh, but yeah, it's I've had some really good snaps actually. I'm hoping they do cards like they did with the first time Snap came out 20 odd years ago where you can submit your images and they might go on a card. The only thing is, when they did that the first time round, Pokemon was on a dip. Now it's very much on a hype um, to the point where I think Walmart have just announced that they're gonna be pulling stock from the uh, shelves. So what? I don't think that's gonna happen over here, at least I hope not. Uh, I don't think theft is too much of a problem uh, on this side of the pond. So we'll have to wait and see. But there's, there's still a few uh, like box collection boxes that I want to get my hands on. But I, I think I may have missed it. 
to be honest. So I don't know. I have to go to Smith's later and, and see what they've got in store. Um, but I've got a feeling they're not going to have what I want. But, right, five minutes to go. I should probably go and do some work. So, got my first item of the week. It's shoes again. I'm not a clothing reseller. And they keep on buying shoes. To be fair, they are really, really nice. They're a pair of Lokes. Uh, zip up red leather and they've also got a little bit of uh, of steel on the heel in order to give the uh, the shoes a little bit more life I think brand new they're between two and three hundred pounds second hand I need to find a sold listing comfortable at a hundred pounds to be honest with you spent a fiver <laughs> oh it's so good I might treat myself to another Costa <laughs> James Pond codename Robocod, 3 99 free postage. So, went to two charity shops today, today being Thursday, so far, it's only Thursday morning, and um, I bought some DVDs. So, you know my whole, uh, I want to make 20 pounds off of every purchase, that's gone out the window already, because there was a Studio Ghibli uh, DVD, and then Frozen 2, and they were 50p each. I bought two tins, 2016, and, 2016. Are these XY Evolutions tins? I can't remember. Uh, this one's definitely got a Pikachu EX in it, and I've seen the top of XY Evolutions cards as well. So I thought for a fiver each, I kind of got to take the gamble. So I've not obviously seen anything inside, which is annoying, but it's fairly well presented. Okay, these, these tins, they're not full. They've got all of the plastic inside them. Um, I'm just gonna put the cards down. So there's a few code cards. <laughs> oh, this could be a very stupid mistake. So, right, we've got a Pikachu EX. Um, what else do we have? Oh, don't tell me that's it. Uh, got an Avalug reverse. No. Flygon reverse. They've taken all of the rares out. I know it's a Weavile. Uh, was there anything else? Oh my God. I know there's a Bravery, which is a regular rare. Oh, I can't believe I spent a fiver on that. What an absolute. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. But it's this tin, the tin that I'm about to open, where I saw XY Evolutions. So, you never know. I can't get the tin. There's just goddamn tape everywhere. I'm gonna have to keep this unedited as well so you know that I'm not fiddling with it. So, there we go. I'm just taking the tape off. You can see the tape is still on one side. It's still very well attached. So if we then just, shoot. <laughs> 52 card pickup, anyone? I mean, it's definitely Evolutions. I can see a Growlithe, I've got my Chop, a Sand Shrew. Uh, what else do we have? That's a, that's a Lugia from Breakpoint. Uh, we've got an Omastar from Breakpoint, Reverse. Um, right, so let's just have a look at these. So we've got, Venusaur Spirit Link, no, 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 no. Oh, we've got Mewtwo. We've got a Mewtwo regular rare, lovely jubbly. A Lugia regular rare. And these are in fairly decent condition as well. I'm very, very surprised. Um, are they worth a fiver? No. <laughs> uh, so we've got Raticate Break. A uh, Haunter Reverse, quite nice, I suppose. Oh, we've got a Fighting Energy Reverse, it's quite nice. We did have the Mewtwo promo, which is uh, XY107. I knew I could see Shiny in there. Uh, we got a Pikachu, and there's a Charmander, but these are, yeah, XY Evolutions. That absolutely sucks oh well it was a gamble 
it was just I mean I was expecting more cards in each one to be honest with you not literally the contents of the tin I just got excited that there was Pokemon inside a charity shop and then idiot this is going in the, the long video anyway so because it's, it's like the collectible side of things and not just purely charity shop hello magpie so i should probably go and do some work i just spent 10 pound on a mewtwo promo card and a pikachu promo card what a twat exciting stuff we've got some a5 paper that's been delivered and a load of bubble mailers uh the b slash zero zero got a whole Box full. And to be fair, these are very, very handy boxes that they come in. Uh, they're they're nice uh, Hermes boxes, which are very, very good for sending joysticks and stuff in, like the, the big PC ones. So yeah, crack in box as well. Excuse the mud on the floor. I've got two pairs of hunters ready to uh, to get all sorted out and cleaned up. So we've got a a kids pair of size nines. We've also got. A slightly larger pair. Are these got measurements inside? I've got no idea. Either way, they've got to be cleaned and listed. From the N64 bundle that I bought during lockdown, I think, for £50, just sold Mario Kart 64 for £29.99, including free delivery. So, last week's car boot video, I missed a £25 to £30 game. Or £25 to £35 game. Scarface Xbox. You live and learn. Uh, one of the best things about recording yourself going around the car boot is you can learn from your mistakes because people can tell you what you missed, which is fantastic. So, yeah, Scarface on the Xbox. I did not know it was worth 25 to 35. I The Xbox, the original one, completely passed me by. I was PS1, PS2, Xbox 360, PS4. Not got the latest generation yet. Don't quite know if I'm going to. I'm waiting for a special edition to come out that tickles my fancy. So, yeah, the Xbox completely passed me by, although I did start collecting Xbox at one stage. Uh, I, I didn't quite delve into the values of things. So, you live and learn. So, thank you to Bin Boot Sale Picking, I believe it was. So, massive thank you, and uh, you live and learn. Hello. 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 Okay time for a midweek haul um, it's very very shoe orientated again um i need to try and get out of this habit so we have uh this was bought today it was half price the listed price was six pounds fifty so paid half of that no idea what it's worth because there is no signal in that charity shop whatsoever but box set sean bean it looks like it's going to be early 2000s i would imagine i didn't even look at it to be fair is there a date on there? There you go. Oh, earlier. 1995 to 1996. Completed box set. I'd imagine it's worth more than that. From the same charity shop. These were supposed to have been uh, £7.95. So these are Stuart Maguire. I've got no idea, but it says orthopedic. Or is that ortho vent? Don't know. Same stuff. Uh, nice stitching on the bottom. Uh, but there's a bit of wear across the the ball of the feet across that area apart from that it's a nice sort of maroony red color fairly decent condition fairly confident i will get back way more than what i paid for it uh there was another pair of shoes where have they gone i don't know um i think it might have been these ah yes these these are questionable i know two-tone 5.95 Bay. The only reason why I bought them is because, again, decent stitching on the underside, uh, intact the whole way around. Bit of extra protection on the heel of the foot, and yeah, they were half price. So again, fairly confident I'll give back way more than what I paid for them. Um, so that was good. Possibly the pickup of the week may be these. Look at that. Oh, YSLs paid six pounds. Um, not mine, cup of tea. I don't really like a, a belt buckle on my on my shoes. But yeah, again, should get back way more than what I paid. I think these are the first pickups of the week. Um, they are, well, they wear a fiver. And 
red leather. I'm imagining it could be about 30 quid for those. Those are all my receipts. I need to take pictures of those later. Uh, that was from B&M. That was $12.99. It's one of the product figures that I'm missing. Two tins of Pokemon. Hmm. The less said about that, the better. And then two DVDs. I said I was not going to buy any more DVDs, uh, but yeah, these were 50p each, and I know that I can get way more than the 50p each, so I ended up buying them. So my whole, I'm only going to buy things that give me at least £20 profit, uh, that lasted three or four days. But that's just me to a T, really, isn't it? And there was actually one more item, which I picked it up because the way the light catches it, is absolutely stunning and it's I had I know nothing about paperweights but the fact that there are no air bubbles in this whatsoever um, I presume those marks there I, I don't know if that's metal that no it can't be metal that goes through the glass but yeah I know nothing about where is it uh, about paperweights I did a very, very quick search and looking at between 25 and 30, I paid three. However, I have to check and see what makes a paperweight a quality paperweight. But just honestly, the way that the light was catching it, it just looked really, really pretty. Um, so I thought, three pound, let's give it a whirl, um, see what it's about, see if there's any money in it. But yeah, we go. My, my haul for this week is 50% shoes. Yay, another box full of boxes. And another box full of boxes. I'm, I'm not a shoe person, so I'm gonna use Tesco's own cherry washing up liquid, which is running out. And I don't wanna open the other one, otherwise my wife will kill me. I might just use the other one. Ah, oh, that would do, I suppose. Okay, now I'm not a shoe expert. If you want a shoe expert, go to Coda Flippers channel. If you want an absolute novice making things up as he goes along, you're in the right place. So these are a pair of hunters that I bought last week for four pounds. I'm not using anything too abrasive and I am using the kitchen sink. Yes, I will make sure that everything is bleached and cleaned before the wife gets back. She's actually off having a tattoo done, which means I get to pick up my daughter at approximately 5.30. Which also means I can I can mess around for half an hour, uh, then hopefully get everything cleaner than how I left it. And a wife would never know, unless one of her friends tell her, I'm looking at you, Laura, um, <laughs> and, and she finds out I used the kitchen sink. There we go. So a nice quick one. I might go over the, the, the uh, I need something abrasive. I need something abrasive that's preferably not in the kitchen. I could do with a nail scrubber, but I don't have one. Can I just not just do that? Does, would that work? That's a sound. I'm such a child. Ah! I need an old toothbrush. I need an old toothbrush. Shoot. I don't have an old toothbrush, but I have a, I had a screwdriver in my pocket. So you know what? That might work. Because I can just allow it to flow between the grooves. It's probably a name for the grooves on the bottom of a shoe, but I don't know what it is off the top of my head. So I'm going to just call them grooves. I'm bored already. This is why I don't do shoes. I find it so boring. I've only been doing it for three minutes. And I'm already thinking about having a cup of tea. Oh, for God's sake. No, that's it. I'm done. I'm bored. Let's do the other one. Numero uno. No, numero dos. Again, just a quick one. very very quickly I could have done with a flat head although would that be too sharp more than likely dab this is not how you clean shoes I cannot stress that enough this is just how I clean shoes 
what that do? There's a little bit of mud up there. Is that gone? Is that gone? That looks good to me, man. Cool. That'll do. That's one. Look at that bruise. Hang on, where is it? There, it's got all yellow. Ouch. Next up are some bigger Hunter wellies. I bought these last year and then I threw them in my stores and then forgot about them. They're not that bad. To the point where I'm not even going to bother cleaning them. I'm just going to list them later. Okay, next up is one of the YSLs that I have just bought. As you can see, look at that. All lovely jobbly. Uh, so again, this is going to be a quick clean. It's not going to be a leather restoration. I, I have no doubt in my mind I could probably do it if I could be bothered. But I want to see how they look like after just a quick wipe down just to get all of the surface grime and dust off I and mean, if i feel like it warrants it and it's within my do you know they don't look that bad that's the thing i could do if i could clear wax to go over it and then just go over the bottom slightly as well just to make that look as a little bit more presentable There's a few scuffs, there's a scuff just there. There's a few scuffs on the front, there's a little nick just there as well. But even so, I think they were well worth the couple of quid that I paid for them. Look at that little bit there, look at that, it was all dusty. Let's get a little bit of the damp cloth in there. I probably could afford to go a lot more abrasive, um, but I, I just, I don't feel comfortable doing it, so. It's wet, but it looks better. There you go, I've zoomed out a tiny little bit. So next shoe that I've just pulled out, I've not even done the other shoe to the same, no, to the, oh my God, I can't speak. I've not done the other shoe to the last one I just did. I'll just pull the shoe out of the bag. And this is the one I'm gonna give a wipe over next. This is like a, a really strange two-tone. If it didn't have the buckle, you know what? I probably would have worn this I don't know, the colours are a bit dull. I went through a stage of have, of wanting really bright, not bright, bright, but relatively colourful shoes. Um, I have said it before, I had a lovely pair. I said they were a lovely pair of Ed Hardys that were like a, a deep red. Absolutely gorgeous. They were from TK Maxx. I paid £40. And they were my, my peacocking going out shoes. I think they worked, but my wife would disagree. There we go, quick wipe over. It already looks 10 times better. We'll wait until they dry and then see how they look. But again, maybe like a clear polish to go over it. It's this darker leather that I'm more concerned about because it's a lot soft, softer and that's what's gonna need the, the restoration doing on it. Failing that, um, I might have to give Lee a job. See, this is what I mean about the, the softer leather. So this is the other pair of the, of the other shoe of the ones that I was just doing. And you can see there's quite a few visible marks. I don't know how much of that you can restore. But then is it really worth doing it? I honestly don't know. I've not looked up these shoes at all. I don't even know if me cleaning them is just a complete waste of time. This could be completely worthless. But I don't think they will be. Just from instinct. I think these will be worth the minimum of what I pay plus plus 20 quid following a new rule which lasted three days uh, but yeah there you go it's only wet but you can see every time it dries it's coming through again that might be restorable that might well be restorable so apparently you can use an iron so I'm going to put this damn cloth over the, the posh pair and then we're supposed to just oh that might be a bit too hot Shoot, let's put on the lowest setting, shall we? Apparently the key is to not let the, the, the cloth dry out. That sounds giving me heart palpitations, man. I 
This might take two or three goes as well. So at the moment I've literally just stuffed it full of um, of kitchen roll. That's not looking great. Is that looking better? I can't quite tell. Let's try this side. Is that damp enough? Nope. I definitely had it too high. So let's just, just want that section there next. Am I not being forceful enough? Am I being too too much of a wuss? I think maybe I am. Or maybe my iron is just too hot, I don't quite know. Is that, uh, is that looking a bit, oh, you know what? I honestly cannot tell. It smells lovely though, because of the uh, ironing water that I'm using. But apparently the creasing occurs when, from when your feet sweat in the leather. So you are supposed to use proper shoe trees in order to help then dry out the leather once you've worn them which makes so much sense but no one ever told me this is that looking better all oh, that leather feels nice and soft i need to just so why can't i put a shoe tree in now in order to help it keep the shape i don't know but that leather has softened up quite a lot. But I needed to sort of take almost that shape. Do you know what I mean? There's like a, a good bit of flex in there. It's only a few millimetres on it. I almost put the uh, iron on it naked then. Should not do that. Damp is... Uh, no, my God. The cloth is still damp though. But he did also say the video that I saw, this might take a few goes. So if I just get them side by side, can we actually see a difference? So that's the one that we've done. It's the one we've not done. You know what? I think there might be a difference. Could just be because it's wet, I don't know. But that feels like that has softened it up a substantial amount. So I'm going to, what I might do actually is I'll get the, the horns, that, uh, the trees that I've got and I'll, I'll probably try doing one with uh, tissue paper or kitchen roll stuffed in it and then the other one with the, uh, the, with the shoe horn in it and see what helps it keeps its best shape. I'd imagine it's got to be the one with the shoe horn in it. So let me go and grab that now. Okay, the leather's still a bit soft. So what I'm actually going to do is this one. I'm going to take the kitchen roll out which I mean, newspaper would have been better because it's a bit stiffer. And then, while it's, you can see how soft it is still, I'm now going to put that down in there and push that down in there. Oh, look at that. Now, now you can see the difference. So what I'm going to have to do is, is over time, over the next couple of days, I'll probably do them once a day, let them dry out completely, is keep on doing it. I'm, I'm gonna have to, it's not even gonna be an experiment. With the, the tree in it, it's so much better. So, I need to need a bit of a polish afterwards, but that's not a problem. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do that one now. Okay, phase one is complete. Uh, now I've got to let both of them dry. Uh, this pair is probably gonna go on as is. There's only a couple of dinks, but because of the finish, um, 
Well, I just going to go as they are. So yeah, this is my first time restoring shoes. And so far, it looks like we could be on to a winner. So um, I'll keep you updated and we'll see how it goes in a couple of days. Now to tidy up, get the iron away before I've got to go and pick up the little one. One Zelda notepad, 995, including free delivery. I think I bought like a hundred of these two or three years ago. Very, very sticky items. Manhunt, $14.99, including free delivery. We have sold We Love Golf for $4.99, including free delivery on the Nintendo Wii. I've done this a little bit too tight and I can't get a bloody game out. There we go, $4.99, free delivery. Owes me 50p or a pound. The Jaws game that I picked up for about three or four pound just sold for $34.99 plus postage. Yes, it's Saturday morning, we're watching Dougie. So the wife has gone out. Um, it's currently Saturday morning. It's 10 past 11. And I'm doing the labels. I'm doing all the packaging and everything while they're out because it's my daughter's first haircut. And obviously with current restrictions, you only have one person there anyway. So it makes sense that I'm at home. I can then do all my packaging and get everything done so that I, there's less to do later on in the day, which would make life a lot easier. So uh, I've done the N64 bundle, the, the raffle. That's now gone. So one person got two items and then someone else got the, the main item. Didn't quite take as much money as I would have liked. Uh, I think it was 255 uh, tickets were sold. 10% of that obviously goes to outside, uh, goes to raffle and then 50% of that remaining 90% goes to Alzheimer's UK. So what, whether we're going to do anything else sooner rather than later, I genuinely don't know. Uh, it didn't quite go to plan. I would have liked to have raised a little bit more money. Um, in hindsight, maybe I should have reduced the amount of tickets and had a higher uh, ticket price so that it was a set amount. But you live and learn. Uh, we, we, uh, we can only do what we can do. We've got to try all these things. If you don't, if you don't test these things out, you're never going to know, are you? So um, I've waffled for a good one minute, 20 seconds or so. So uh, I'll carry on with my packing duties. So we interrupt the, the normal... I don't know, rubbish of me just chatting for a Zavi Threads box. So I get sent these completely for free. Uh, if you want to pick up one of them, there'll be a link down in the description below. But yeah, I get them sent to me for free. They cost you a tenner. For that £10, you'll get one graphic novel and you also get one T-shirt. Roughly worth around £10 each. So without further ado, I've not opened it yet. Please don't be Star Trek. I can't tell what that is. <laughs> Always useful. Um, that feels like a big book. There's a third item in there. Okay, the t-shirt is, oh, John Carpenter's The Thing. I was not expecting that. I was really not expecting that. The ultimate in alien terror, The Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing, starring Kurt Russell. Uh, officially licensed, as always, easily worth at least £10. And that's covering the cost of your box. And I'm not completely paid to say that. This is the mystery item, which is... Jurassic Park playing cards. I just looked in the... <laughs> it was going to happen, wasn't it? It was always going to happen. Star Trek. We'll go back to the playing cards in a second, but here we do have Star Trek Volume 26, Khan Ruling in Hell. Um, Eagle Moss retails at £9.99. It's worth about £9.99. Uh, not really my thing. I hate Star Trek. And I think the, the more I see it in these boxes, the more I dislike it. Uh, but we have these officially licensed Jurassic... Park, are they just yeah, Jurassic Park gift shop. They're just really cool. I like them. Um, we're going to keep them for Christmas. That's presuming that we're allowed a proper Christmas in 2021. I can't actually get into them. We, we always end up needing playing cards every single year. We, uh, Admittedly, the last two years has been a bit more difficult. In 2020, there was obviously COVID. And then uh, 2019, my daughter would have only been two weeks old. So it would have been a lot more difficult. So, oh, we've got oh, Mr. DNA. 
which is bingo dino dna and it's got again gift shop on the back that's really cool i want to know what's on the actual cards now please be dinosaurs please don't be regular cards i'm going to be so disappointed if they are just i can't get in the bloody wrapper please 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 they are dinosaurs oh this makes me very very happy as someone who has recently got back into arc survival evolved quite heavily um it's nice to see dinosaurs so we've got the king which obviously is the t-rex uh queen is it looks like a brontosaurus raptor uh, ace is just an ace oh and then it's just numbered again okay they're not complete winners however i'm very very happy with those i would imagine the retail is it's officially licensed as you can see on the back it's got fanatic uh universal etc etc worth a fiver in my opinion um but yeah these these are gonna go in the man drawer ready to hopefully be used christmas 2021 that's if the world doesn't end by then so as i say if you want to pick up one of these boxes there will be a link down in the description below basically uh you may get a kickback i might get a kickback either way the box is a tenner and if you buy more up front it costs even less than that um and if you do that it means that i keep on getting sent all this for free which is even better for me so uh yeah um let's go back to the the regular part of the video so this is a part of last week's bundle which you guys didn't actually see uh the whole bundle cost me 100 pounds i've just sold the ps3 along with one controller and three games three fifa games for 59.99 or 49.99 including free delivery uh, a bit cheap um i should have done it plus postage but uh, i only listed it today and it's sold within three hours so a bit on the cheap side but i've recouped most maybe just over half of what the whole bundle owes me in one item so the week is done and dusted it is now about 10 30 a.m on sunday uh, i will give you a total as to what i have sold so far throughout the week uh, i'm not expecting big numbers to be fair it's not been the craziest week i've got one more pickup which i won't be showing you but it's just a ps3 uh console only um what's my password i think that's it Go on, go on, go on. Yes, right, we're in. So, um, I've got a PS3. I've sold it for, I think I had one for like £90 for ages. And then I just thought, you know what? I, I was going to wait until we potentially have another lockdown. Uh, but I don't think that's going to be happening sooner rather than later. So I'd rather just shift it, to be honest with you. So I reduced the price uh, to 59.99. Just to get rid of it and they they sold quite quickly as a warning on it for some reason uh which is to do with the address which isn't a problem um so yeah today let's have a look uh so it's 10 31 exactly our seven day total is only 574 pounds and 47 pence uh so far today nine pounds 99 uh but i'll be honest with you all i want to do is start rendering the the week in the life off video so that i can then start listing what i bought today so that i can then go back in, in between um doing things i want to be as productive as possible as my wife and my daughter's gone out and i want to utilize my my time as best i can so which means uh editing rendering potentially uploading um and i want to get this bloody negative feedback removed which is from late delivery for a gsp item it's an absolute shambles it really really is so yeah 574 on the week not the best not the worst uh but yeah we'll see if we can uh we should be able to do better next week i've got a, i've got a feeling after what i witnessed today at the car boot and what i missed out on i i'm really hopeful that i think next week at the car boot is going to be glorious but that is it from me as always thank you for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, if you don't subscribe, I, I will kick you in the shins, I promise.